Hello, my name's Bob Willis and welcome to Winnie TV here at Productronica. Mark, it's nice to have you here on the stand and uh, I, I'm very, i honestly impressed with the visual appearance <laughs> Uh, the profiler. I mean, I honestly haven't seen this particular model before, and you know, I've been using most of the different brands over the years. But uh, it's quite impressive. Yeah, the uh, you know, as profilers go, it's not the sexiest instrument in your toolbox uh, typically. So we went out of our way to try to make it visually appealing. <laughs> um, you know, just uh, to give it a, some. Uh, some cachet, so to speak, in, yeah. the, in the industry. And we wanted to add functionality and ease of use. And Well, of course, you know. I mean, the number one thing is it's got to measure temperature. <laughs> yeah. And measure temperature accurately. Mm -hmm. But obviously, people want more and more and more out of the software. No, absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the software that drives it um, to get the data that you need to improve your process or to maintain repeatability in your process. Um, and we wanted to untether a little bit from the computer, so we made these uh, touchscreen display models, uh, the EV6, which we came out with uh, early last year, and now the EV20, and that, which we intend to um, go to high-end customers that need a lot of uh, thermal characterization, large uh, backplane um, models or military aerospace that need to uh, look at thermal gradients across BGAs, et cetera. Um, instead of using multiple profilers or doing multiple profile runs, we can get a large amount of thermal data in a single run. Uh, and then we can actually display that data and analyze it a little bit on the display itself. Uh, the, so it's instantaneous feedback. So we think that's time savings. So just to criticize some of your customers, if I may, don't you feel sometimes that people have this uh, a very impressive piece of equipment with multiple channels and just don't use it as much as they should do? <laughs> because you know there are so many applications <laughs> I know we talk about reflow all the time, but just so many applications for temperature measurement and accurate temperature measurement. No, absolutely. Uh, from you know curing underfill, sorry, uh, the um, you know temperature is one of the most measured uh, parameters there is in manufacturing and in the world. In fact, um, and th there is a practical limit to how many sensors you want to attach to a circuit board. Uh, we could come up with a hundred channel profiler, and you could spend two days attaching the thermocouples. Uh, so. That's where 20 is kind of the sweet spot that we came in. Where it's a practical limit to attaching thermocouples, to wire management, um, physical size of the connectors. And so 20 was kind of the sweet spot we, we fell into, and um, that's what our customers are asking for. Uh, some of them um, may not utilize all 20, uh, as you say, but... Um, we do have customers that definitely have the need for it. Yeah, I was kind of alluding to other processes uh, like uh, rework, and uh, I find that uh, you know there are some companies that really are hit and hope when they're doing rework, but if you can measure something, you know what temperature it's got to, and yes, you might do it on a, a demo board or a dummy board like we might do with profiling, um, but you know it's giving you the data to be able to characterize your process much more accurately. No, absolutely, and that's the, uh, you mentioned rework, uh, you know, here you've got a, a piece of equipment that's already gone through several heating processes, and now you're heating it up with rework, uh, so it's even more sensitive, and oftentimes the rework equipment is not as um, uh, controlled as a, as a production oven might be, so uh, you'd think that the, the measurement of that would be uh, even more critical, uh, because you're doing a second reflow process on it, or third. And, well, you know, hopefully we'll emphasize that there is more things you can do and mm -hmm. that probably helps people justify a more sophisticated piece of equipment if they can do more with it. Yeah, you have to measure it to manage it. Uh, <laughs> so. Well, thank you very much for dropping yeah. by. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. And uh, yeah. hopefully you'll have a very impressive show and lots and lots of uh, people will be coming to the stand. Absolutely. Thank you.